Laris. I assume Death Shadow is in there and we just... We beat him, so that's good. Got And by them. Earlier. Yesterday as well. What is the... What is the Nephilim? It's got to be Ink Treader Nephilim. Come on. I'm almost positive. Yeah. Wow. You don't put the dash in it. Well, I was not right about the colors. Crazy Jake 07. Crazy Jake 07. Are you 14 years old? I always, I'm, I always ask those questions, like, why do people put these numbers? It's three numbers, like my own name. No, there's less, less, like, likely that it, any meaning. Uh, but. No, one number, or, or two numbers, always, you like. Well, turn one Hierarch, turn two Grist is the pin. It's a good sequence of turns. If they kill this Hierarch, we are kind of in trouble. I mean, we'll play as Disperk Prospector. Don't want to have to sack a uh, Prospector to play something like a Matron. Um, but given that we drew that, do I want to sacrifice Hierarch to kill Dragon's Rage Channeler before they get any value off of it? It's possible. Especially given that they could, like, just delirium up immediately and kill my Grist. Or, like, unholy heat me. Three lands is enough with all of our colors. Just keep them from, like, drawing up to... Drawing up to anything good. Keep pressure. I mean, I guess they can, like, dash Ragavan, right? That would kind of suck. Another Dragon's Rage Channeler into... What? The Thought Seas. So I'm glad I killed the first one. Uh, just because two Surveil Triggers is even worse than one. Um, and it looks like they're about to have Delirium in a second. I mean, not right now, but in a second. Okay. Um, no more my whole hand. It doesn't matter. Deal. Create a 1-1. One, one. Play out Matron. And uh, we'll grab... Munitions Expert is the one that deals with what they've got the best. And Grist is a recurring source of card advantage. Although I can cash in Grist and kill Dragon's Rage Channeler if they don't get Delirium, regardless. So, like, maybe I'm supposed to get Snoop. Although, maybe they play something big and I get to Munitions Expert plus Grist. So, let's grab Munitions Expert. I think that's the best play. And, you know, continue to hope to draw. Um, Uh, so that will give them Delirium, and they're going to kill my Grist. So I'm glad I grabbed Munitions Expert. All in all, I don't think that that Grist really got us ahead, but we would be a lot further behind had we you know, not taken care of it. This could be Drown in the Lock. Drown in the Lock does take care of Sling Gang Lieutenant. So I think what I'm going to do is literally just play Skirk Prospector, swing for two, and pass. And then I'll take three next turn. And, you know, if they tap out, then I'll try to kill their Dragon's Rage Channeler. I guess I could try to kill it at their upkeep. Maybe I'm supposed to do that. But, like, if it doesn't work out, I'm, like, in a, pretty much a lot of trouble. 
they know I have it, right? So probably shouldn't do it. I can just make them crater their mana. Alright, so there's dress down. Um I'm it would be a mistake to let it resolve. Uh they must have a pretty bad hand over there. Or they're just like getting Crocs into play and it's not a big deal for them. That they're gonna lose this guy. Which is kinda what I imagine is going on. They're gonna take my gonna take my sling gang lieutenant. That'll be pretty bad for us. Mm, yep, there it is. Croxa, but it doesn't... Oh, they don't take the Sling Gang Lieutenant because it doesn't have any kind of thing. Well, that's good. Uh, Chain Whirler may end up... Well, can't be our last point of damage, but... It's not terrible. To... Are they just dead? They take three? Yeah, they're just dead. Oh, they're not just dead. That's pretty bad. I don't want to sack anything else, but do I... Do I attack past this Croxa? I attack them for four. They go down to three. Or, I attack them for three. They go down to four. Next turn, I attack them. Five. They take four. And then Chain Whirler, even if they have another blocker. So I'm supposed to attack. Yeah. I'm supposed to attack. Pick three, go to four. Now, if they attack, you know, obviously they're dead on the crackback. Then they shouldn't attack. Maybe they attack if they have, like, double death shadow or something like that. I don't know. We have a lot of good draws, even if um, they somehow make it out of this next couple turns. But I think we've got them. I mean, it could be Drown in the Lock. If it's Drown in the Lock, they're dead on board. Drown in the Lock plus Bolt, they're also dead on board. would have to be like fatal push unholy heat unholy they're playing thought seize. they're not playing fatal are we gonna steal these them don't attack don't attack Attack? Oh man, I don't know how strong their hand would be if they attack. Pretty... It would be pretty ballsy. It would... It would be a bad sign for... Like... They don't know what I have. It could be anything. But getting it out of my hand doesn't seem great. Like, it could be a land... Hit me for 9, I go to 11. So there's Ragavan. Do I win... ...through this Ragavan if my Chain Whirler gets countered? I wonder. Hmm. Right now, I, I swing for one, two, three, four, five. They block two of them. They take three. They go to one. Chain Whirler gets countered. So you know what? Let's let's do this. If they counter this, like so be it. We're taking a counter spell out of their hand, and then we can try to untap and Chain Whirler them for lethal. This is a lethal munitions expert in the sense that we get past their blockers. 
So they dress down. Which, okay. That's fine. We still attack. And we put them to one. And we just have four lethal attackers. Mm. Engineering explosives takes out a bunch of our stuff. They find it here, but we still have chain whirler. All right, so we got them game one. Um, this is a Mulda Leyline matchup. Bringing in all of these. I'm going to assume they're not playing Torpor Orb because they have Dress Down, right? So we're not going to bring that in this time. I think I did last time. Uh, we're going to side down on the combo. Uh, we're going to take out Skirk Pros... Well, no. I said on the draw, I would take out Mog War Marshals. What I said, and then I said some people say taking out Hierarch is good. Um, Chain Whirler isn't great, although when you have Leyline, it is. I think this is where we want to be. Maybe, the yeah, this, yeah, yeah, I like this. It's possible I want to take out another Hierarch for the Crater Maker. I'm not sure, though. I don't want to do it. Uh. Mm, yeah, let's do it. Just in case, I don't know what, I don't, you never know what people are bringing in. And the hierarchy is like, just not that good. And, you know, Crater Maker taking a, a Dragon's Rage Channeler that's scrying them the good stuff. Probably be good. This is a fantastic hand. Like, if we lose with this hand, I don't know what the hell we can even do anymore. Because you're going to get Snoop that either has... A fetch land redraw open or oh no actually okay so <laughs> I've said it before uh, you 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 mulligan to ley line and then there's a couple not only their 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 cards are still good even with ley line in play um you know Croxon never has to hit the graveyard they have Ragavan it can go poorly um, and that Noble Hierarch lining up poorly against Ragavan is one of the reasons I sided a couple out and left the Skirks in. But I could block and just unearth if I really wanted this, but not blocking with this unless I can unearth. So, Ragavan hits us. Please don't be that good. They take our cavern. That's fine. The ramp is the real problem here. Um, we'll play this Blood Crypt. Oh, our mana is very painful this game. We're playing this Blood Crypt so that they can't counter. Okay, now it doesn't matter. Um, I'll discard Wooded Foothills. We're playing this Blood Crypt still. I think I block Ragavan here. Because I can unearth. And this is like their best creature with the ley line out, other than end of turn dress down into Croxa, which really I need a Warren Weirding to beat. <clears throat> okay. This is like kind of their nut draw. And notice how good Dragon's Rage Chandler just is like. I'm going to play a 1 1 that tutors a spell, but their 1 1. Okay, and it. Plus one. Uh, Death Shadow's a good one as well. 
Now, if we've run them out of cards, and there happens to be a Boggart Harbinger somewhere close, I can't actually play this off the top. But do I want to draw it? I don't think so. I wouldn't mind if it stayed on top. Okay, that's um that's worth playing. Well, that was like some best possibles, to be honest. Oh, man. That was good stuff. Um, I think I actually can... Uh, I can combo them next turn. Well, now I can't. Notice how good Dragon's Rage Channeler still is. Yeah. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Now this is a 2-2. Two -two. Will I double block this? No. I have a 2-2. Two -two. Hmm. I, I just like... I'm gonna clip this whole game if we lose. Because <laughs> it's... I just like... I talk about it so often. Like what... Happens... In games like for real. When you're playing against Grixis Death Shadow and everybody's like, no, you just Leyline and then they have just one ones. And, eh, not really. Not, not actually how it happens. Uh, you just, you can still lose after resolving Leyline. Um, so here we can grab Warren Weirding? Or we can grab Munitions Expert. Or we can grab Pain Whirler or actually just a ton of decent options, but nothing great. If they kill Matron, they have zero cards in hand. They're probably going to grab Luris, right? So Warren Rooting is the worst thing we can get. We're not going to get that. Uh, like, land Luris means this will probably be a 4-4. Four, four. And we're just gonna have to hope that Ringleader is good enough. So maybe, maybe I grab Hierarch? No. Munitions Expert will kill Ragavan no matter what. Sorry, I keep rustling on the mic. Um... Huh. Tough choice. Like the straight up dumbest I buy the most time is Mog War Marshal. Oh, Luris sucks. Like we have a ley line in play. Um but like that is just like level one, big dumb, dumb up the board. Level two is like What? Beta land? Our fire their death shadow? That's not likely though. Pain Roller's really not that bad. It turns their death shadow into a 3-3, three, three, but it does kill Ragavan. And it attacks pretty good. Mog War Marshal does just gum up the board forever, and we have Sling Gang Lieutenant. And we could, like, draw a one-drop that goes with it. I think... Wow, does my War Marshal have the most upside? Is that what's going on? Munitions Expert kills Ragavan and blooms up the board. This is an actual tough call. Um, they're in top deck mode, and all I need to do is resolve one of these, and I probably win. But Ignoble is just like such a bad get. It takes two turns for it to do its thing, right? So like, I want to use most of my mana. I can't reasonably fade a land and this will get really big. 
but I think Chain Whirler is the get. Because it kills Ragavan if they don't attack with it. Okay, so they do attack with it. I go to four. I'm going to kill Ragavan. That was a decent top deck for them. Um, so, like, I, I do kill Ragavan and... Ooh. Interesting. Because... I know they have no cards in hand. Actually, that can kill something bigger. And, you know, if I fade a land again, um, they, they can't actually attack with Death Shadow. If I don't fade a land, I have to, I have to block. Which would have happened either way. This would have been a 4-4. Four, four. Um... Ooh, if I draw land and I had gotten me no. No, 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 no. Uh well, that I think I need to shock in. They have a Luris, but that's not that important. They're at eight. And I can take them down. If I draw enough goblins and fade enough removal spells. Looks like there's no removal spell here because they're going to allow me to block. And sack. Uh, here comes Luris, I imagine. Luris is not lethal. We don't want to take damage from it. We're not likely going to get up to six to kill this. We're just kind of on chump duty the rest of the game. I don't know what their last spell is. It can't kill two things. But I can Matron. I can Matron for Tarfire. And definitely kill Luris. Okay. Well, I wasn't going to kill Luris regardless. Um, losing that kind of sucks. Man. That was a timely dress down. I do say so myself. So we're on double chump back duty here. Um, ugh, Express Federation is so good. I, that's got to be the death knell for us, right? Flip this game, please. Uh, let it be known that this is how you lose after having Leyline in play against the best deck. In the game, right? It's not just... You don't just win. All right, so now Luris is going to lifelink either way, so not necessarily a point in blocking it. Maybe we get there somehow. I don't actually know. Munitions Expert would have been a draw. That was... Um... Is this a counter spell? This is a counter spell. Oh, oh, it's a dress down. Just infinite dress down. To take my best. My best. Enter the battlefield. Oof. Big oof, guys. Big oof. This is like, by the way, best case scenario for our sideboard plan. Right? Um. We had Leyline in the opener, had a fantastic set of cards, still couldn't beat him. Uh, what do you think? What do you think? I said we would bring in Warren Weirding, take out these Skirk Prospectors. Or I said we would bring in more Mogwarmark, I meant to say, not Warren Weirding. Uh, do I take out both Skark Prospectors? I could take out another Skark. Maybe I just leave the Prospectors in. Skarks. Like 
Yeah, why not? Man. <laughs> oh my god. That that is just What can you do? What can you really do? Hand is not good. Like it kills their first thing they play. It doesn't necessarily get any kind of mana. You play Pyre of Heroes, which dies to Kolagon's command eventually, but maybe you can get we don't have anything to pyre away. I mean, I guess this becomes Snoop. Really, it could become Mog War Marshal. Oh, Mulligan. We have to look for Leyline, right? Unless we find a banger of a hand, which I don't think this is. You have to Mulligan to Leyline. That's our plan. You can't afford to draw ley lines off the top. You saw there. We got into a top deck war, and if at any point we drew a ley line, we were dead and we died anyway, but maybe I wasn't supposed to get. Maybe I wasn't supposed to get um pain roller there. I could have but I had to kill Ragavan, right? Because I, I didn't have I didn't have the fourth mana, so I couldn't get ringleader either. I have to mulligan this. It looks like a good hand, but... Okay, so we didn't find Leyline mulliganing three times. Uh, we didn't find Leyline mulliganing four times. We almost definitely lose this game. We're going to have four cards left. I guess I have to keep... these we mulligan down to four didn't find ley line so in case anybody is wondering how you lose to grixis death shadow our fantastic deck and our fantastic sideboard plan this is it i mean i'm gonna block i can here it is i guarantee you this ragavan hit me And pretty much guarantee it. Here we go. So now we have to hope that number one, this isn't a thought seed or something that they can. Ugh. You gonna use it? No, right? Uh, so now we have to hope that. Oh, that was so dumb. I mean, it doesn't actually matter unless there's a Skirk Prospector on top, but I obviously should have waited to play my land until after this. Doesn't end up mattering. Um, ooh, am I tilted? Ooh, boy, am I tilted. And they take the Mogwar Marshal, which is just like, we can't beat this card in a million years. <laughs> we like literally can't beat our own. Oh my god. Um if if I draw Chain Whirler off the top and they don't have a counter spell, theoretically I can him, but I don't know what would be in their hand if uh if that all worked out, right? So Ragavan is a fun magic card and Leyline of the Void is not. Which is why I've been a board. But we beat them last last game. So not last game, last match. We're just incredibly dead. Like, are they gonna cast this matron just to flex on us? We're we're dead. Not well, I well it's a three three now, so I I should just concede, but I want to draw the land off the top first, then I'll concede. Nice. All right. We're conceding. <clears throat> that. I mean, we won game one. We lost the sideboard game. Like. I don't know, man. 
it's the best deck in the format and it doesn't matter how good your deck is or how aggressive your sideboard plan is. oof i hope i hope people from the discord were here for that pulling up mid-range match reporting i'm gonna i'm gonna get a clip a 30 minute clip of just these games share it there it's like it's a joke man this is this is our sideboard plan against them i don't have a better one I'm not pretending i do but i just you know it's not enough not enough 